loses possession. That's a good job pressuring. Possession stays with Northwestern State, however, now stolen by Allie Johnson. Johnson fighting for it, stays with her, sends the ball into the box, chased on, fired on, and a slow roller is Richard. Into the box, into the middle of Davis. Davis shot, and it is in! The early goal goes to the Bearcats. All the way on the far side. Pritchard with it for the Cats. Plays the ball in, try to get it into Bayinski. Still with Bayinski. Shot and save. <laughs> Look at it here. A good bunt by Miles pushing it up the first baseline. And then the underhanded throw. He works his way out of it with a couple of strikeouts. And we will go to the bottom of the fifth. Cats on top, six to three. Right side for Jarzenbeck. Jarzenbeck's going to keep this one in. Sends in the cross. And that one's going to be grabbed by Madison Cannon. Madison Cannon inside the box. She looks up, finds Alley, and that one. And Bennett, Megan Bennett's going to go inside the box to provide an opportunity for the Cats. Beryl Smith gonna take that one on goal, and it's gonna easily go to the hands of Haley Nelson for incarnate word. The Cats not able to get a shot on goal on that play. <laughs> Defended by Kylie Dick. She crosses that one in. Batley able, almost able to turn with it, still with the ball, passes it off. And the Cardinals take a shot that hits post. It's finally November 8th, and you know what that means? It's election night. Many students on the campus of Sam Houston State University have come together in the LSC Cat Club to find out who will be the next president of the United States. Estoy esta noche con Esteban Bustamante, quien es un miembro del rodeo de Sam Houston. Hola Esteban, ¿cómo estás hoy? Estoy muy bien, gracias a Dios. Bueno, sé que anoche competiste y que vas a volver a competir hoy. ¿En qué evento competiste anoche? Anoche participé en monta de caballos con montura, lazo doble y jineto de toros. El debate presidencial republicano tomó lugar en la Universidad de Houston el jueves pasado. Varios estudiantes, familias y miembros de diferentes organizaciones atendieron al evento. Buenas tardes a todos. Yo soy Melissa Ortiz. Empezamos hoy con esto. La avenida N desde la calle 10 hasta la calle 11 será cerrada hasta el próximo año para que los trabajadores comiencen a retirar y sustituir los coches despachados de tanque que están debajo de la calle. And while you are back in the studio, I'm out here enjoying some delicious food and some fun activities. If you are interested in learning more about the cause, please visit the website www.homen.org or visit Omega Delta Phi's Twitter account at ETECHNIGHT. Reporting live, this is Melissa Ortiz with Cable 7 News.